The dangerous thing about handling a car packed full of high explosives is that accidental detonation could take out an entire city block. But now there's a revolutionary new device that'll take out car bombs safely. This particular device is designed to take out bombs placed in the trunk of cars, many of which are made of artillery shells. The device creates a controlled directional explosion that separates the bomb from its detonator. It literally throws the bomb from the car before it gets a chance to do its deadly work. So what's this ingenious device called? This is called, actually, I can't tell you what it's called because its name is still classified, but its job is to neutralize car bombs, and it's very good at its job. It uses shape charge technology to produce a relatively small explosion that defeats a potentially massive one. Normally, shape charges force an explosion in one direction that typically transforms metal into a liquid jet that can punch through anything. Except, in this case, the jet isn't made from metal. It's made from water. The result is an incredibly powerful future weapon that's also deceptively simple. It's a work of pure genius. A sheet of explosive is sandwiched between two uniquely shaped water bottles. When it goes off, it focuses the water into a concentrated jet that's capable of tearing through steel. The top container becomes a water blade while the bottom container quenches the fireball and focuses the explosive pressure upwards. This water blade instantly cuts the connection with the detonator and renders the bomb harmless. It also throws the artillery shells clear of the car so that they can be safely disposed of. Oh, we got some 105. Most car bombs are placed in trunks because there's a lot of space and they're hidden from view. We've put five concrete-filled artillery shells in the trunk of our test car. The plastic containers are filled with water and a sheet of explosive is fixed in between. Once taped together, the device can be held like an ordinary briefcase. The device is placed under the trunk, ready to detonate. Of course, if this was a real IED, we'd get a remote control robot to do this part. As we close in, Dr. Alford's device certainly looks like it's worked. Our high-speed camera clearly shows the water blasting each 80-pound artillery shell high into the air. In the fight against improvised explosive devices, who would have thought that this little genius could offer protection against the biggest killer in the war on terror?